Welcome back. So we just, if you watched the last video, we uh, looked at how to create a short answer question in Moodle. Now we're going to figure. Now we're going to learn how to do a drag and drop into text question. And what is that? That is, let's say you have a bunch of different. You're going to display a bunch of different options to the student, and the student will have to drag every one of these options in a particular order. Uh, let's say you know you're testing if they know a certain procedure on how to do things or you know they want you want to anything that has an order to it an order of steps a sequence so let's say this is something like i don't know um cooking this will be called cooking eggs and the question text will be how does or let's say what are these steps to cook an egg i don't know Maybe you're teaching a culinary class or something. We'll put a little egg emoji there. So the way that uh, this works is you're going to have a bunch of placeholders and a bunch of labels. The labels will be the things that the students can drag around into the placeholders. So the way that we denote the placeholders is by using this notation. We're going to be using two square brackets, and we're going to put the number one in there. So I'm going to make um, a few, let's say this is, let's say, oops, ah. let's say this is a three-step process, so we're going to have one, two, three, so I have three placeholders, and then I'm going to scroll down to the choices, these are, these are the labels that the students are going to be able to drag around. So let's say, you know, the first thing is grab a bowl, because you need a bowl, to make eggs. Um, crack the egg into the bowl. Seems like a good second step. Um, you know, pour eggs into frying pan. Whoops. And, um, you know, let's say the last step is, is Actually, no. Well, it's a three-step process. This is what you do: grab a bowl, crack the egg into a bowl, pour the eggs, uh, pour the uh, pour the egg into the frying pan. Okay, cool. So it's a three-step process: one, two, three. And these are the this is the correct order: one, two, three. Don't worry about the uh, the options over here. We're just going to do a simple example for now, and let's see what that looks like. So let's save the changes. And let's preview by hitting the little magnifying glass. I'm going to just change the size of the window. So here are our three placeholders. And then we have three options down here. So what are the steps to cook an egg? Well, I'm a student and uh, I, didn't, uh, I didn't study for this test. So I'm going to say, oh, I think we start by cracking the egg into the bowl. And then we pour the egg into the frying pan. And then we grab the bowl. I don't know. Then I submit. And it'll tell me, you know, well... That wasn't that wasn't the right uh, sequence. Okay, let's let's pretend like now we're a student that did do their studying. They studied very hard for this test, so they're gonna say, "Oh yeah, first I grab a bowl, then I crack the egg into the bowl, then I pour the egg into the frying pan." Awesome. I'm gonna hit submit. Congratulations, you know how to make an egg. Good stuff. And uh, so that's that's like a that's a simple example. If, again, if you need to test if they, you know, know a, a certain sequence, a certain order um, of something. All right. Thank you very much.